What's the difference between a field and a property? The short answer is that properties are far more flexible. So let's go ahead and have a look at the details. Our first difference is one of flexibility. A field cannot be made read-only. When it's marked as public, as in this case for age, an external caller can set or get the field. For a property, because we have separate getter and setter methods, we can change the accessibility for each individually. So I can make this public age property read-only by simply making the setter private so that only this class can change the value through the setter. That's an important difference. The second difference are properties have methods for getters and setters, and so we can add any extra logic we need. In this case, I'm going to add some validation logic. The incoming value is going to be constrained between 0 and 120 because someone's age may be restricted to that range in your application. This is something you cannot control with a field, and you can add whatever level of uh, validation you like. You could throw exceptions, you can change the value, etc. The third difference, and an important one, is that you cannot use fields inside interfaces. If I copy this field into an interface, we're going to see that it gives an error, indicating you cannot have a field in an interface. So properties are considered part of a, a public contract for your class, and therefore can also be part of interfaces. Fields generally are considered internal implementation details, and are not usually going to be made public and they're not going to be part of interfaces. Those are your three main differences. Hopefully you find that useful. If so, hit the like button so that others can find the same answer. Until next time, happy coding.